Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today's project is one for pet owners. Here in my house, we have a cat and a dog. Although we love them both, our puppy likes to eat the cat's food. So we have to keep the cat food somewhere where the dog can't get it. But I still want my kitty to be able to get it. So we've been keeping the food in the laundry room on the floor so the cat can eat in there, but we can only leave the door open when we're here to monitor it. Otherwise, the monster will get in there and get it. So I've searched for some solutions for this and you can buy on Amazon a device that holds the door open just a little bit like this so that the cat can get in there to get his food, but the dog can't get in there to get the food. I'll post a picture of it right here. It looks a little bit baby proofy to me, so I didn't want to have that. So what I'm going to try to do is design one myself. My plan is to mount up here on a hinge, a little arm that will swing out and hold the door at the proper distance away from the wall. So I'm going to be making my own and here's how we're doing it. I made my little wall bracket. I put a couple holes to where I can screw it to the wall and then I've got a big hole in the top so that I can put a swing arm on there. Uh, this is a piece of a coat rack that I just had laying around. I kind of hammered it out, tried to get it straight. I'm just gonna slip that in that top hole and it'll come out the bottom hole like that. And then this arm will be able to swing out and grab a hold of the door. So then I need to measure how far I want the door to be able to open and put a little drop on it. I'm gonna put two of them so that it'll pinch the door between them. I made my door stop to mount onto the trim piece. If you didn't want to drill into your door trim, you could make the little spikes longer and, and mount it up here, but I did mine for the trim. So I'm putting it down here. Now you're gonna wanna position the door where it will swing out and swing onto the door. So right about maybe there. So this is, this is where it will swing onto the door. And it will be right near the edge of the door. So now I'm gonna mark it where I need to put my screws. I have it marked so I can pre-drill the holes so I don't split the board. Now I'm gonna screw it in. I'm gonna use pretty good sized screws. I've got my doorstop all in place. It swings in like it should. I think I'm going to wrap some electrical tape around the ends of this to keep from marring up the door too bad and it might grab it a little bit better with that rubber tape. But all in all, I think it's gonna work. I have my doorstop in place and push on the door. Seems to be holding it in place. I got my kitty here. Go on in there. Hey. Go in there and get your food. So he can go in, he can go in and get his food and the monster shouldn't be able to fit through this hole. If we want to go into the laundry room and just reach up and push the little arm over and then we can go in. Put it back in place. Like so. And that should solve the problem of the dog getting into the cat food. I like a solution like this over the commercial option because when the door is shut and the arm is in place, it's out of sight. You don't see the little cables going across here and stuff. It doesn't look like a baby gate. You don't even notice this little things up here. And it would work on a door that swings inside or outside. The difference is if the, the door was swinging out into the room, 
I'd have to put it on the other side and then when we weren't using it, you'd see it over on the side of the door like that. But that would still be better looking than the baby proofing version. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.